Yo, what's up guys, Felix from Dry Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the status of the medical commodities business in 2022. Also, just wanna say thank you guys for the support on my last video, just getting back into the swing of things of uploading daily. But like I said, in this video, we're talking about the status of the buying and reselling diabetic medical commodities business in March of 2022. People always ask me day in and day out, comments, questions, messages, does this business still work? Is it saturated? Does it not work? Is it still a good side hustle? Can it be a full-time business? And in this video, I'm going to let you in on exactly that. And before we get into the video, be sure to check the links in the description below. I have viable, well, not viable, many business resources, one about flipping medical commodities, one about flipping pallets, my book, on how to become an independent courier is currently down. I'm redoing the website. A link on how to recover surplus funds, a link on how to wholesale real estate, and a link on how to build a real online business with internet marketing, affiliate marketing, and YouTube. Also, a few links and resources about how to invest in crypto and how to check and build your credit, and then also my other social medias and contact information is down there as well. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Be sure to put a like on this video and subscribe because I'm uploading daily content every single day. Also, like I said, the business of flipping medical commodities. You guys wanna know, does this still work? Is this a side hustle? Is it a full-time business? Is it saturated? Does it not work? Was it better to get in two, three years ago? Can you still get in? And I just wanna say that if you're thinking saturation, I've made videos about this previously on my other channel, um, which is you know all about flipping medical commodities. It's called Flipping Medical Commodities University. But if you're thinking saturation, oh, there's other people doing it, you already lost. If you're thinking saturation, competition, you already lost because you have to think bigger. You're thinking way too small. There's millions of people on this world. There's millions of people who are, there's, there's so much opportunity. You have to think big. And how I usually like to train my mind is, well, first off, peep the view. I am in uh, downtown Buckhead, Atlanta, I think it's called. And what I like to do to train my mind on how big this world is is first off, look how many trees there are, right? There's an abundant amount of trees also, right? Look how many buildings there are. You think how much money it costs to build that building? Probably hundreds of billions of dollars. Do you think the company that built this building or built the high rise that I'm in said, hey, um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. I bet you whoever was behind this project, that building, that building, that building, that building, all these other buildings had such a strong leadership mindset and a mindset that's you know, they have to win that there was no saying, oh, we don't know if anyone's going to rent our apartment. We don't know if anyone's going to rent our condos. No, there was no option to think like that. So it ties right back to the medical commodities business. It doesn't matter if you're doing the medical commodities business, if whatever business you're doing, you have to go into that business knowing that you're going to give it your all. I can't, I can't, um, Tell you how many people tell me, hey, Felix, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give the medical business, medical commodities business a try. And when you say you're gonna give something a try, you basically already lost. You're going into it with that, with um, you know, half the effort. Basically saying, hey, I'm gonna go 50%, okay, oh, cool, this is gonna work, and say, hey, if it doesn't work, I'll just try something else. So, no, it works. There's a very three simple step system to this business it's marketing pickups and invoicing and if you have the buyers in the back end to get paid then there's literally no way you can lose plus a group chat so what i do inside of my training course is i actually give let me readjust the phone a little bit i actually give the people inside of the flipping medical commodities university training program a group chat so you could be around a bunch a bunch of other resellers all doing this business because i'm big on you know you are who you hang around so there's people in there that you know, some are making you know an extra few thousand a month to supplement their job or whatever they're doing already on the side. Or there's people in there that actually have one of my clients who from from our Facebook group because we have a Facebook group and we have a Telegram chat who told me she made thirty three thousand dollars. Now she's now she's not out here in Atlanta. She's actually out in Houston, Texas. But if you're in Texas, don't think oh you know. See if someone told me hey I'm in your city I'm making thirty three thousand dollars I would say beautiful. How do I start making $33,000 in my city just like you? I'm not thinking, oh, they already have too much of the, the, the pie already eaten up. There's so much out there. So really, all you need is a system to really go at this the correct way. If you have a system, if you're around the right people, you have access to the right buyers. Because if you're just selling them on eBay, 
yes, you can make some money, but eBay has rules, fees, chargebacks, limits, and it's hard to really take this business to the next level. When you have buyers behind you who are guaranteed to buy the product, you can't lose. But if you don't take action or if you don't go hard or if you go hard for one day and say, ah, this doesn't work, then yeah, it doesn't work. So how does the medical commodity business not work in 2022 when you put forth half, um, you put forth very minimal effort? People put in a tiny bit of effort, they'll put up one ad, they'll try one marketing strategy, they'll try it for one week, and when they get no results, they quit. But I've had people who, um, you know, maybe for their first month, two months, they don't get crazy results, and then it just takes off. Like I tell people typically, right, month one, between 1,000 to 1,500 profit, could be more, could be less. Month two, by the end of month two, by the end of day 60, between 1,500 and 2,500 a month. And by the end of month three or by the end of day 90, somewhere around three to 4,000 a month in profit. Could be more, could be less, but that's ballpark. But to say that the medical commodities business doesn't work in 2022 is baloney. This business is a better time to start now than never. You know, the best time to start was yesterday. The second best time to start was to, is today. So this business absolutely works. Like I said, if you're going to go into something and you want something like a clear cut proven a fast track program check the first link in the description because i literally show you everything you need to start this business i give you access to me this is my direct personal cell phone that i'm recording on you can hit me up anytime you got any questions you get the buyers we sell the products to you get a group chat of a like-minded people all doing this business and then you get the actual training which is around three to four hours in videos that literally breaks down every single step to this business but this business, you know, will never stop working. And then not to mention, I still do this business to my to this day to myself. So I travel a lot, but back home, I have a team. My two childhood friends literally run this business for me. I grow I get around, you know, 10 to 12,000 a month in profit. I'm actually in the works of scaling it up. By the end of this year, I want to take that that uh, number to around 20 to 25,000 a month in profit every single month. But this business isn't going anywhere. Now, could they find the cure to diabetes? I'm sure they could. I'm sure they already have. Let's talk about the you know the monetary gain behind COVID and everything like that. So, do they have the the, the cure? Is there technology to avoid using test strips? Yes, there is. My father has that machine, but the test strips give the most accurate reading. So, me personally, is the business going anywhere? No. Is the business going to get saturated? No, because most people don't take action anyway. You lead 10 people to, um, you know, you show 10 people, hey, I'm going to show you how to make a bunch of money. Five of them say they're busy. The other five, the other four say, hey, I want to watch the NBA game on tonight. And one person might show up if that one person even takes action. So if you go out there and actually work and put the work in, it's, it's a clear cut proven business. You don't need a website to start. You don't need a car. You don't need anything. The only thing you need in the beginning, if you're on a bootstrap budget, is a phone. Is a phone. And then how much money to actually get it up and running? I would say 500. Can be done with less, but 500 is a good amount. And then as far as my course, like I said, you get the course, you get me, you get the group chat, and you get the buyers. I have payment plans available, but click the first link in the description to get more information about the business. Enter your name or email as some sort of little system my buddy set up for me um, that could give you more information before you were to decide to go ahead and move forward with it. But yes, this business is booming. This business isn't going anywhere. This business can change your life. This business can make you a few thousand a month or it can make you a few thousand a week. It's really up to you and what level you want to take it to. I know some of my students who, you know, are, like I said, make a few thousand a month and then make 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a month. And it's really just rinse and repeat. You're just doing more and more marketing to get more and more clients to sell you diabetic products and then you dump them off to the buyers in the back end. And then you could do what I do and take this money and invest it into different businesses, real estate, Airbnb, trucking, um, you know, you could start a food truck business. You could do, um, you could start so many different businesses, but this could be your easy seed money. Unless you come from a family of money, which I know I didn't, you need something that's going to be your seed money, whether you're going to use it for your, maybe, maybe you're going to get credit cards or whatever it is, but this is what I use to, you know, level up my income, stack my money, and then I could pivot from there and start other businesses. But to answer the question, 2022, it's already March, this year's going by fast. Is the medical commodities business, the buying and reselling of diabetic medical commodities still a good business to get into? Absolutely 1000%.
there's actually no better business in my opinion because low startup, um, you know, high margins, and uh, you know, you don't need a lot to get started. And it's and it's simple. It takes some work, but it's simple. But a lot of people don't want to put the work in. If you put the work in, you're going to get paid. So like I said, check the first link in the description. Check the other links in the description for different business resources. My social media, my contact information is all down there. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'm about to shoot the second upload for today because I'm trying to catch up for, you know, um, enough videos for every single day of the month. And the first day of this month, I didn't upload. So about to knock out another video. Again, thank you guys so much for the support. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.